Hey guys, I'm Walsh, and welcome to the about the revision that Transformers Power Core Combiner's lead foot with his little minicom pinpoint. Um, this is one of the better Power Core Combiner sets um, with the little um, commander. Um, well, what is it? The single pack, anyway. Um, just the two packs, not the five packs. Um, so yeah, notice that most of the um, two packs have actually been just gold compared to the um, five packs. I mean, the five packs, some of them were okay. I recently picked up a um, mudslinger and um, double clutch. Um, double clutch is shit. Um, mudslinger is awesome. Probably my favourite. Um, but I'm not. I, I like double clutch, but you know, whatever. Um, but anyway, there is Leadfoot, and I am actually a really big fan of this figure. Um, I should have a look at his mini con for a second. Have a look at pinpoint. Um, as you can see, it's like a little engine mounted gun. Um, so yeah, it's translucent yellow, which I really like the look of. Um, you know, I love translucent minicons. Um, I don't know why, I'm just obsessed with these power core minicons, they look so cool. Um, so yeah, so transform into robot, just kind of fold the legs down, fold the arms forward. You can leave the guns up if you like, we can just have them folded down. Um, but there is. Um, pinpoint in robot mode. The robot mode looks very nice. I do like the look of this guy. Um, I mean the head sculpt looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah I just wish that they could have, could have just um, put a little bit of paint on the arms. Just a little bit. But you know. He has got a gold face in there. They did actually um, bother to paint that. If you can see that. They did actually bother to paint the face which is pretty cool. So yeah. Um, but anyway, just set him off to the side, and he does stand up fairly well. He stands up better than the rest of the minicons, even though he has no heels whatsoever. Um, so yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at Leadfoot here. Um, he's a very nice um, race car. I really like the look of him. Um, it says Black Rock on there. No idea what that's supposed to mean or reference. Um, so if you know, just leave a comment. Um, so yeah. And he does have the um, signature. Um, power core, um, the drone port things um, sticking out the back, which seems to be a recurring theme with most power core combiners. Um, I just like to think of him as boosters or something. I don't know. Like a wolf Cybertron booster. Um, so yeah. But anyway, this guy is so cool. Um, so yeah, so it's transforming. The transformation is actually really strange. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is about it, but it seems strange, but it's actually a lot of fun. Um, so you want to fold these wheels underneath there. Um, come around here, just unpeg the arms from the back of the car, back of the um, race car, whatever. Fold out the fingers, then you have his huge hands um, ready like that. Then, I'm going to grab this leg assembly here, fold that forward, and just split that. Then, get them tabbed up here, and fold these little minicon, um, not the minicon, the um, drone ports. Um, as heels because he's got no heels um, so you've got to use these um, and he will stand fine um, so yeah then take this and tab that fold it down fold this up like that fold that up and there you have lead foot in robot mode um, one thing you may notice he's got huge hands but a really teeny tiny head um, so yeah, but he is very cool. I'm a big fan of this figure, and the light piping actually works. It works pretty well. What's that on my hand? A marker on my hand. Um, so yeah, he is a very nice figure. Um, so yeah, and you know, they look they look like really cool partners. I don't know. You can just see them if they were, if they were ever in um, a film or something, or in cyber missions or whatever. They can like be a cool little little duo um so yeah anyway he does have a little power up mode um basically you just want to transform him back to his little um engine mode um thing the engine block mode but you just don't want to flip the guns around um like that then come around here just open that port up and just Pull that um, little peg out. You've actually got to move that secondary head out of the way because um, you know it's impossible to get that peg out. Um, so yeah. Then you just want to take um, pinpoint here and plug him on there. 
and yeah there is um, the little power up mode it's not the worst power up mode um, it still doesn't look brilliant I mean but none of the power up the um, power up mini con modes look great um, so yeah just leave that in it does have kind of a gun mode um, but it's really rubbish um, I don't even know how to get it to it properly but I know it's going to be rubbish um, so yeah then just take that leg there peg it on there and that's what I've seen pictures of um, doesn't look awful but still nothing great because his hands are so big it just looks really weird um, so yeah but still very cool I love this figure um, so anyway to get him into his power up commander torso mode you want to fold out the um, connector pegs um, rotate around the head like that come around here lift that leg up fold that down leg up fold that down um, just like that then grab the arms here rotate that around rotate that around and just get it in line sometimes it can be a pain because he's got quite a few joints on his arms um, so yeah anyway, same again rotate this around rotate that around and tab those in then fold down the um, connected pegs these don't tab in that well um, anyway there you have lead foot ready to be combined with the drones um, don't have the drones in the image at the moment I'm just going to show off the um, torso you know because the drones are actually in the top of the shelf out of the way um, so yeah but still very cool it's probably got the best looking combined mode um, so yeah I mean it just looks really cool and there's something about it that I just love um, that head sculpt is just awesome um, kind of looks like a War for Cybertron drone head um, the Decepticon drone um, even though this guy's an Autobot um, but yeah that head looks surprisingly evil um, so yeah anyway still fantastic figure highly recommended so anyway yeah um, that was my review if you enjoyed it and please subscribe